It has been nearly five years since the Tohoku earthquake in Japan. On March 11, 2011, a magnitude 9 earthquake triggered a tsunami which killed almost 16,000 people. Tidal waves reached 133 feet high and went 6 miles inland. In the aftermath, survivors desperately searched for their loved ones among the wreckage. Today, over 2,500 people are still listed as missing. Of course, such a tragedy is often very difficult for survivors to cope with, but a study recently conducted by 22-year-old Yuka Kuro, a sociology student at Tohoku Gakuen University, suggests that it's not only the living who are struggling to make sense of the tragedy. The Asahi Shimbun newspaper reports that Yuka Kudo interviewed more than 100 taxi drivers in Ishinomaki for her graduation thesis. Kudo asked the drivers whether they had any unusual experiences after the March 2011 disaster. Some drivers became irritated while others pretended they didn't hear her, but 7 out of 100 drivers actually answered Yuka Kudo's odd question. One driver in his 50s told a story about a woman who got into his cab near Ishinomaki. Maki Station several months after the disaster. He said she was wearing a coat, which was odd because it was summertime, and asked to be taken to the Minami Hama district. After the cab driver told her there was nothing there since the tsunami devastated the entire area, she said in a shaking voice, Have I died? Another driver who was in his 40s related how a man apparently in his 20s got into his cab and pointed toward the front. When the driver repeatedly asked the man for his destination, he replied, Hiyori Yama Mountain. However, when the taxi arrived at the destination, the man had disappeared. The seven taxi drivers all started their meters for the phantom journeys. One driver even showed Kudo his driver's report, which noted an unpaid fare. The supposed ghost riders involved in these stories kind of sound like the phantom hitchhiker urban legend, and these riders were generally young people, and Kudo has a theory about that. She says young people feel strongly chagrined or distressed at their deaths when they cannot meet people they love, as they want to convey their bitterness. They may have chosen taxis, which are like private rooms as a medium to do so. And if you think the taxi drivers were freaked out by all this, well think again. Yuka also found that none of the drivers reported any fear during their encounter with the ghost passengers. Each felt it was a positive experience in which the soul of the deceased was finally able to achieve some closure. One driver even said, it is not strange to see a ghost here. If I encounter a ghost again, I will accept it as my passenger. I guess I would too. If I was a taxi driver and a ghost got into my cab, then uh, you know what? As long as it doesn't kill me, I'll take it wherever it wants to go. And what's even more creepy is that cab drivers are not the only ones in Japan who have reported seeing ghosts in the tsunami devastated towns. The police have received hundreds of reports from people who see ghosts where housing developments used to be, uh, or see lines of ghosts waiting outside of shopping centers. While the police have not found any concrete evidence of such events, they have begun collaborating with exorcists in the area. I just want to say that these taxi drivers, they might be the toughest on this planet. I mean, they're so casual about it. Uh, yeah, I see ghosts all the time. One got into my cab the other day. We had a good conversation. I talked about the weather. She asked me if she was dead. If I was driving a cab and a ghost gets in and asked me if she was dead, I would jump out of the taxi and start running and I'll be peeing the whole way. I bet you can take some of the toughest taxi drivers in New York City and put them in that situation. They will all do the same thing. Also, I'm curious and I kind of want to bring this up for a discussion. And this is just my opinion, but Japan to me seemed like the creepiest country in the world in terms of ghosts and stuff. Like, what's the scariest supposed true ghost thing here? The Exorcist? Uh, Amityville? Most people, you're not gonna run into that. You're not gonna meet a girl with her head going 360, vomiting nonstop. But in Japan, ghosts are just jumping into your car. Like, you could be literally just driving along one day and one just shows up. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts on this story and let me know if you agree with me or not that Japan is one of the creepiest countries on this planet. I mean, it's beautiful and I still wanna go, but it's creepy. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.